Yeah, that, like I said, if you've done races all across America, which I have, this is the wildest one. Baja Bra is the one. It's a party where a race actually breaks out, and the race now has stepped up to the level of the after evening activity, so you got a legit race top to bottom now. <laughs> Dude, we got the, the podium, we got our Greek goddess. Uh, we have the, the giving away the Leonidas Award. So, and that's a, probably one of the best awards I've seen. I've been around racing with my boy, and uh, we were pretty proud of the Leonidas Award. Yeah, the awards, the theme of the race, really awesome, and we look forward to coming up there. Labor Day weekend, it's uh, what? Practice Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday racing. September, one, two, three, four, with a Friday practice, three moto format, uh, and lots of stuff. Turn it up, break the knob off, uh, AMA featured event. So AMA's out there giving number one plates, so uh, moto playground in the house. Uh, you know, it's the brawl. There it is, the Baja Bra. If you know, if you're, you're from Michigan or anywhere within a 20 state radius, you've been to the race, try it out. Thanks, Pat, for coming by. Pat from the Baja Bra with his badass pit bike, and it literally is. It says it on the side of the bike. That's why we're saying it. So look at this, Mike Brown out front. Thanks, Pat. Mike Brownie out front. Nathan Ramsey in the number two spot. Jimmy Evans is third. Barry Costin is fourth. Gregory Paymont is fifth. Looks like Matt Shue up there on the number 21 machine in the mix there as well. It is chaos these first few laps of the race, no doubt about it. You got it, it is Mike Brown, no doubt. What can I help you with, Adam? Mike Brown with that hole shot, picking up $100 from Bell Helmets. Brownie with a sweet hole shot. Picking up right where he left off in moto number one. That first place finish. Yeah, you'll remember when the first race took off, Nathan Ramsey hit the deck. He's sore, he wasn't feeling it, but now he is back. He's feeling like his old self, and he is old because he's in this old man's class, plus 40 class. Nathan Ramsey is second. It's Brownie out front, Ramsey second. Jimmy Evans on the 58, Kawasaki is third. And they come into view right where, in front where, of us. Where is John Grew, our moto number one second place finisher on that 70 Kawasaki? We'll check in with him in just a moment. There comes Looks Ramsey, like he's second. There's the third place of Jimmy Evans, the fourth place ride, the 76. Still looking for Gruy, Buddy Antonez in the number four spot. Gregory Paymart, fifth, Barry Karsten. And then you have John Gruy back in the number seven spot. So this thing's all kind of shaken up. Gruy's got a little work to do. Gruy's got some work to do, but Kevin, let's talk about that 10 commandments section. Nathan Ramsey was hitting that rhythm section. He was collecting those triples in that 10 commandments section. Now he is all over the back of Brownie. That might be a place where we can see some moves happen. But right now, it looks like Jimmy Evans but I don't believe that is Jimmy Evans. That would have to be, that's Buddy Antonez on the Suzuki. Budman making some moves right now. And he's carrying OBC, Barry Karsten right behind him. But Jimmy Evans trying to hold off Buddy Antonez as he's tripling through the rhythm. And he's gonna end up holding off. So Evans still holding down the number three spot. But Nathan Ramsey and Mike Brown out front. Brownie with an immediate, almost a five second lead in the first lap, he is rolling out. One lap in this thing, and Mike Brown is putting down the hammer. He don't want to deal with those guys later on. Ramsey can settle in, but Brownie's going immediate attack mode. Brown throwing it down early on in moto number two, trying to stretch it out and get away from Nate Dog Ramsey. So many fast former pros in this class with Buddy Antonez and Mike Brown, Nathan Ramsey, Barry Carson, Jimmy Evans. It is crazy. It's awesome to see all these old ex-pros coming back to Loretta's, letting it all hang out in their 40s. Here we go, two laps just about now in the books as our leader comes back to the finish line turn. The number 30 rock star Husqvarna, uh, Mike Brown, right here from Tennessee, Georgia Alverson. If really you didn't stoked know Kevin on Kelly, wow, that she was Mike, dating him. Georgia Alverson has a massive crush on massive Mike Brown. Crush on Mike Brown. That stings a little bit, doesn't it? Jimmy Albertson. Yeah, Mike Brown is White like husband of Georgia. Mike Brown is the George Clooney of Moto. Basically. There it is. She's feeling it. Love some Mike Brown. It's just timeless sex vibe coming from Mike Brown. All right. Well, Brian some guys didn't haven't. mind the riding on the track. He just mind he what he did mind was the fact that Mike Brown was just always seducing his woman. 
And that's what's happening with me right now. He's Mike Brown swooping in on Georgia Lindsay. Got to steal your woman right here in front of us. Between Mike Brown, David Pingree, and Ryan Sipes, I oh, have no girlfriend. You got no chance. No wife. No wife. No nothing. You better not have a girlfriend. You're right. That's your top three. You just heard so it. So right now, the top three in Georgia Lindsay's could you do list. Mike Brown rounding out the number one spot. Then it's going to be David Pingree in second, Ryan Sipes in third. <laughs> Ryan Sipes is number one. Sorry, we have a late lead change on that one. He has, he has nothing to do with the race. That's her free passes. Ryan Sipes number one on Georgia Albertson's. Ryan of, Sipes, yeah, really? Guy. She, oh, he's, wow, I didn't know that. You got a dip in, boy? <laughs> Rides with a dip. All the time. Oh, wow. Well, that's what they say. Uh, it's the accent. See, it's the opposite accent. Yeah, she likes that Tennessee accent. Keep, keep that skull, keep baby. Keep it in, yeah. <laughs> huh? Keep the skull. That's my, my little uh, gift to you. Yeah. <laughs> and well, this is battle right here. Barry Costin right in the mix. Jimmy Evans as well on the Cowie. 58 mixing it up. Jimmy told me that he basically rode for two weeks to prepare for this event. Oh, he's good to go then. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, and I think it's getting to him right now. You can see how rough that section is. Jimmy's won this 25-plus title a couple of times, at least twice, if not three times, trying to work on Karsten. Karsten and Buddy Antonez battled for pretty much every lap of the first moto, and here they are again duking it out, Karsten and Antonez. Coming our way, Bud are. Man on the outside, Barry Karsten on the inside. It's very similar most, backgrounds. Uh, no, you were no, about, about to say, to say the, the same most, thing. The most unusual guys. Very much the polar Drew opposite. making it up the inside on the number 44. Paymart. So Gru making his way to the front of the pack. Not Paymart not yet. done yet, though. Over that tunnel of love. Trying to stick it on the inside, but I think Gru is going to end up making the pack pass stick. So Gru, second in moto number one, he has now moved his way up to the sixth place spot. So he's going to need to climb his way further up the ladder if he wants any shot going into motor number three. Chris this dude is a bad guy. This Mike Brown guy. Oh, He's it, a bad dude. Yeah, this dude, Mike Rising Brown. Rising award winner, future one. Hasn't even touched the bike with a pressure washer yet all weekend long, or all week long. Just spotless. He's on the same set of gear and tear-offs, too. Yeah, give us an update on your uh, podium guy from the first moto, Chris Kiefer. Struggling a bit in this one. Bad start. Yeah, he's way back. He was about 13th. I guess he's made a pass or two now. Yeah, he's actually passed about six guys since I last looked. He was about 14th or 15th. Now 11th, Chris Kiefer, so that's tough behind Ryan Vallade. Look at the lead Mike Brown has right now. Nathan Ramsey should be coming through in second. That's more than 12 seconds. That's where they were the last time we saw them, so I think Brown has extended it even further. So there's Nate Dog on the KTM. Was uh, one of the first to ever race a uh, 250F KTM when they first launched that bike in the U.S. Came out and won on it almost immediately. All right, Jason, in, in America, and who is eligible at the age of 40, whatever? Who can run with this guy right now? He's fresh. I mean, he is not even retired. We're not even going to consider what he's done retired. Who do you think honestly can run with a guy at 40? There might be one guy, and he's right here at the ranch. Jeff Jeremy McGrath's here. Jeremy McGrath? Yeah. Jeff oh. Hemming, that's right. Jeff Hemming's here now. That would be interesting. Can they go? I'm talking about going the distance. I know, with for this guy. a straight three 20 minute motos. Those are fast. That kind of fitness. Times. Two minutes flat on this rough track. Mike Brown does not care. He will race you anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Well, you see, hey, two Suzuki's battling. Take a guess who that Maybe is. Maybe Antonez and oh, Karsten. Only... This is incredible. They have been this close I in both of their hold. motos. Karsten makes the move on Antonez. Antonez has to be going. I cannot shake this He's guy. Got Jeez. Ah, Barry Costin. That's a 14-year-old motorcycle, too. So I'm going to run the background on these two. Yes, both uh, Suzuki riders coming through the ranks. One working for an uh, RV dealership run by his dad in New Jersey, privateer, probably racing on four-year-old oh. motorcycles. Antonez looking season. to square him up. And Antonez had the coolest, trickest Everything. Suzuki factory R&D ride of all best, time. Best hair, iridium goggles. Yes. Oakley's, the whole deal. He was Baddest ass looks ever. And it's working out about the same here on the track. <laughs> <laughs> Barry will square up with anybody. Where's Jeff Frizz at? He'll take that guy too, man. Just Jeff Frizz. Just throw it. <laughs> it's my go-to. You are dying for Jeff. Where's <laughs> Jeff Frizz? Why can't he race one of these classes? The number 52 Suzuki ride of hey, Jeff, Jeff Frizz. Frizz. He rode every class. He would ride the 250 class and the 125 class. Never would qualify. And he would ride like 90 laps because he would go <laughs> through the heat race, the semi, both LCQs. 
Georgia here is looking to take you out. That's oh, called getting your money's worth. Yeah, I was, that's called getting your money's worth. You are Jimmy right. Evans got his hands full right now. John Gruy trying to roll up here to fifth place. John Gruy on the 70 on the inside. Looks like he's got a hook in him right now, Jimmy. Gruy. John Gruy is old enough to be old. his dad. Yeah. By far the oldest guy battling up front this class. That's his grandson he's racing with. And, Jimmy you know, Evans. we're late in the moto now, too. And Gru is just coming through the pack, passing these guys who are somewhat up to possibly 10 years older than him. Oh. So Bud Man getting a little bit out of shape, coming through the sand. Uh-oh, oh. John Gru is all over him. You don't want that. John Gru knows his way around. Loretta is probably better than anybody. Excuse me, Shelly. Down to the inside is Gruy. And again, we just want to put the word out to all the ladies. John Gruy. Single, ready to mingle. Yep, he's available. If you want to find him, just go to the podium. ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> FarmersOnly.com. He's on there as well. Senior 40 plus mingle. Right, just get in there everywhere. There may be I mean, Yeah, just just spread the wealth. Try to get as many resumes out there as Throw you can. That wide net out there. <laughs> see what you come up with. Oh, Bud Man's in trouble now. John Gruy has caught him. Gruy. Gruy's no, working. Go ahead. Gruy's working his way right now. Keep going, man. Keep going. I did that on purpose. I was doing like that. I knew it was coming. Oh, but He's buddy, going back Antonis. around Antonis now on the inside. What? He, is not he does not want to get passed by Gruy. He's going back after OBC. Barry Karsten for that third place spot. So that's our final spot on the hook. And these guys are wanting a medal. They're wanting something to take home to the wife. Say, look what I did this weekend. That was Ramsey right in that shot looking over. He yes. could see the whole race. Seeing the unbelievable battle. Look at this. Karsten Antonez and John Gruy. Antonez is going to use some arena cross skills and put the block pass on. So he's got to square up Gruy to keep him behind, all the while trying to move forward on Barry Karsten. Drove down here in an 82 Winnebago Class C, the old Allegro. The Tioga. Just the when you think that Antonez is going to get passed by Gru, he is <laughs> knocking battle. all over the back door of Barry Karsten. He and got he makes it. it happen. Yeah. And Gru comes through, too. Maybe he's going to come around and swing shot the outside, try to get him back. Karsten still holding off Gru, but this is a three-way battle dogfight for our final podium spot in plus 40. And Gru, he is going to stay a little bit lower. Go and now Gru is in the fourth place <laughs> spot. Karsten stuck on the outside in these sand whoops. He just lost two spots. Antonez is hanging on with everything he's got. This is an intense battle for third. Mike Brown, Nathan Ramsey, long gone in the senior 40 plus. Antonez, Gruy, Karsten, and even Jimmy Evans not too far out of it behind them. There he comes. Gruy now working Antonez again. Relentless pressure. It's amazing racing. I would have never thought Antonez would get Karsten back. No, he was Carson like he had was passed him and left him behind. Anton is back in it, the Bud Man. Five-time Arena Cross champ taking on the Loretta's champ. And voted most popular Lake Havasu, 1997. <laughs> most popular, ready to party. Also the yeah. 50cc Krusty Demons of Dirt. Yeah. Mini Moto winner. But him and uh, Bud back Man. in the day, yeah, Jeff Bud Man. And him. John Gruy not letting Bud Man go. Look at Karsten. Carson's digging deep. He wants back into this. Can he get back in the hunt? Get that moto medal. Some insane racing. Pass the mechanics area. Lap number six. What do we got? About three more laps to go. It's gonna be close. Could be two. Down to the inside is Gurry. Has he got the pass made? No, Antonez, Antonez. comes back. Antez, Antez showing us the side number plates as he swaps down the straightaway. Can't get it stopped, so Gru's going to take the inside line, Go for the triple, make the buddy. move on Antez, but this is arena Austin. cross right here. Ten commandments, baby. And Gru makes it happen. Now Even with the arena cross background, Buddy Antonez cannot make it happen in the jump section. And guess what, Buddy Antonez? Look who's back. Barry Carson's Hello. ready to battle you again. God. But <laughs> he is still not done with Drew. Antonez. No, he's not messing around. He's right back on it. All over the back of Gru. So John Gruy will consistently, he will fight, 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 and you'll blink an eye and he'll be second again. You're like, how's this guy do it? He was sixth, fifth, and he got second in the first photo. Yeah, he's actually only somehow five seconds behind Nathan Ramsey. All this jockeying for position. Yeah. As it, Nathan hasn't really capitalized on it. Antonis using the inside. He better because Karsten 
We'll use it if he doesn't. Barry Karsten is still right there. We might have another Karsten and Antonez battle. He's a little bit further than five seconds. I think it's actually 22 seconds back to Antonez. So oh, sorry. I didn't great call point. you out on that one. I didn't mean the guy. That's a great point. It is gaps between each driver. That's an excellent driver. point. It's not right. five seconds. It's 22. Hey, look, 22. Rui having some problems around the outside. Did Antonez get close enough? He almost made the pass. I thought he was going to do it right there. I, I'm telling you what, Antonez can be the so slowest rider on the track completely in a third part of the track and then be five seconds left quicker than There it is. The right there. He's ready to get Grui back, and Grui oh, almost goes down. Wow. Problems for John Grui. Oh, there it is. It's going to put him on the inside, Jason. Antonez pulls the trigger. Who's going to go? Oh, they go down. They go down. Antonez is down. <laughs> Oh, the, the signboard. The arena to, cross special. Trying to escape the camera <laughs> angles from the officials. We, <laughs> trying to pull the dirty moves and can't make it happen. The this R &D is smart. Suzuki is down. Did it behind the boards. <laughs> did it behind the boards. Move. Did not want the AMA see the spikes that came out of the side of the wheels to try to get Gru. <laughs> but Gru with that old man strength, number 51, or in the 51 old years man of age. strength. Is that what it was? Yeah. 51. Uh, <laughs> Taking care of the Bud Man. Ah, oh, Budman. <laughs> Budman was good. He had arena cross flashbacks. That was Dennis Hawthorne. That was Debo. That was Willow. That was all the all the players up there. Josh that was Demo. Jeff Willow, yeah. <laughs> Take the shot. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was such good racing for about four laps. So that means Barry Karsten is going to come out on top of the Antonis battle this time, but it is not over. Again. Budman will be back. Not only was the battle good, but I felt like watching Antonis ride, he was one of the most exciting guys to watch all week. Because just when you think this guy is putzing around the track, he would turn it on and catch up to the yeah. guy in front of him within two corners and be hounding him down for the lead. So Antonis, fun one to watch here at the ranch. Mike Brown, pretty fun, too. He's gone. Do you know what Mike Brown said when I uh, got to the podium in his previous win this morning? I go to the podium. What? Can I have a That's what he said. Can I have a kiss? So you're saying. Trophy girl. You're, you're all ready. Trophy girl, bro. Hey, do it, for, uh, do it for Georgia. She's going to yeah. live vicariously through you. So. I, think, I think that he it's Mike just, Brown? Is that the hall pass? Hey, Georgia, Mike you're Brown. the trophy girl. Get down there and kiss Mike Brown. You're up. You're the trophy Mike girl. Mike Brown has already asked Jason Wigand for a kiss. He did. I, I was on the podium. He expects that type of treatment from the podium girl or Maybe. gal. Gal, girl, guy. It isn't. There's no discrimination, okay? I respect that. So the waning stages here of the Mike Brown show, he's been perfect. Three motos in, he's got three wins. Nathan Ramsey, a little bit better moto for him. I'm sure he's a little happier with this one, but he's a competitor, though. You know he wants to get up there and mix it up with Mike Brown, but he's going to have to find a little bit of speed there. 20 seconds, the deficit between Mike Brown and Ramsey. And Gruy again on the box, the old man. Gruy doing it up. He's going to have a 2-3 two, two, going into moto number three, and that's going to put him second in points. So Gruy looking good for... A solid podium overall going into motor number three, but I don't feel like anybody's going to be stopping number 30 of Mike Brown nope. in this any, one. Any of you recently divorced ladies want a, a winner? Then go see John Gruy. He is single, ready to mingle, successful, good on the dirt bike. Can't speak to anything else, but that's all I got right now. I'm trying to help out John Gruy. We'll try to get Jason Wygant to throw out that Instagram handle for him. Start those DMs flowing into John Gruy. Just getting up on Tinder, right? He is. He's just now. He's, he's swiping left. He was going the wrong way the whole Under time. Under the screen name of John Screw, though, right? No, I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. That's what you had told me yesterday. No, no. Wait, can't. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. So All right, kid. Let's get rid of this plus 40 class. Get it back onto some 50cc racing. Get this thing back on track. Final lap. It should be. Good Lord. They're going to go 10 laps. Mike Brown has no problem with that. Mike Brown's ready for three hours of racing. Yeah, right? He's Send him off in the woods. This is a warm-up. Now let's go two hours in the woods. He's ready for 30 years of professional racing. 30 more. 30 more. He's going to race all the way up until he's 70 That's years old. That's why he's number 30.
So Mike Brown is still out front, not only on the track, but in your heart as well, right, Georgia? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know how she got rid of her English accent so fast. But then again, she oh, is an actress. Yeah. She is on camera, so she does know how to change it up a little bit. But Nathan Ramsey on his last lap around two. Ramsey and Brown are just off all by themselves in first and second. So this last lap is a little bit of a parade lap for him. And Barry Karsten, OBC, in the third spot, actually pulling a seven second gap on Gru. So Barry Karsten, what is there not to say about that man, Kevin? I don't know. He just didn't get around. What, do we not see that? I don't Gru know. Gru was third now, it's Barry Karsten. I don't know where he came from. Jason Wyatt is jump dancing in the streets now. The New Jersey native, Barry Karsten, gonna go right up to the podium. Put those sweaty arms right around Jason Wygant. And we will now take a ride with the number 30. Mike Brown's gonna knock down another Moto win. That's three for three right now. He's perfect. Bobby Hewitt, sign him up, man. Let's get him out no there. No kidding. Three Horizon Award winner. Put him out there, coming at you. Mike Brown's gonna slide his bike onto the stand on the podium, onto that bike stand, while Georgia Lindsay is gonna be sliding her message in on oh, to the yeah. end of DM list of Mike Brown. On Mike Brown. Nathan Ramsey will finish up second. And we're looking at Barry Costin. Look at that. So our top 10 rundown here in the second moto of Senior Plus 40 is Mike Brown. Going 1-1, one, one, so finishing a second moto in the first place spot. Nathan Ramsey, after having a bad first moto, rebounding well, getting second in this one. Then it's going to be Barry Karsten, John Grew, James Evans rounding out your top five. Then it's going to be Buddy Antonez, the bomber, crashing out in this one, but then coming all the way back to the sixth place spot. Then seventh, Gregory Palmart, Chris Kiefer. In eighth place, Randy Vallade, or Ryan Vallade, sorry, Randy's brother, in ninth, and then Billy Fosnock, rounding out your top 10 on the 13 Yamaha. And we're gonna be headed down to the Race Tech podium with Jason. Yeah, because Mike Brown's already hanging out down here. Well, now we're getting into the uh, jinx mode because it's been perfection so far, three for three. We have seen what happens though, down here, just when everything seems like it's going right. They pull the rug out from under you. But so far, so good for Mike Brown in his return to Loretta Lynn. He's got his third moto win in three tries here this week. Let's hear it again for Mike Brown. What's up, y'all? Okay, now I almost feel like you're on borrowed time. Everything's going so good over and over. When, when's the bad luck coming? Well, I don't know. I hope it's not when the rain's here. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's going good. Like, these guys are working hard for me. They shouldn't be. I'm a old guy here in the class, but these guys are pushing hard for the bike to be better and better each time, and that's the best I've felt all weekend. The arms felt better, the bike was a thousand times better, so it's uh, thanks to them guys. They're the ones getting me getting me going better, and uh, hopefully it just keeps improving. Yeah, you you didn't just wait till you turned 40 to do this class. Like, you're beyond 40, right? Yeah, 45, but uh, Husky wanted a guy out there with Ramsey and all the guys that's supposed to be doing it, And but man, all the guys are good out here, so it's uh, good to get a Husky out here, and uh, Try to keep it on the podium all week. So far, so good. You got the whole shot, too. You want to thank some people? Oh, Bell helmets for the whole shot. That's what I wear. The helmets was great. And, uh, you know, FXR, Husky, Rockstar, Dunlop, Bell, Alpine Star, Oakley, um, you know, all the guys, CTI, FMF is the, you can see the whole shot. It's all from the pipe and Dunlop tires. All right. And well done again. Three moto wins for Mike Brown. <laughs> all right. Good job, Mike. And uh, once again, it's the Tennessee two-step because the second place finisher is a originally a Tennessee native as well. And we'll bring him on up. These guys got to be hot. These guys got to be tired. Only thing you missed, Mike, was the unbelievable battles behind you. They were some of the best action we've seen all week for these other spots. I think you're okay with that. Let's get the Nate dog up here. Well, he's trying. He's digging. He's doing everything he can to keep Mike Brown in check. Another runner-up ride for Nathan Ramsey. You're giving it everything you got out there. You're trying hard. 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's uh, this late in the day. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is my nap time. So I'm sure the same for Brownie. But uh, he just he's got really good, you know, first two or three laps. And then I think he can put it on cruise control. And then I try to keep pushing. But I knew I didn't have anything for him in that race. So I just try to stay consistent. And then I could have sworn I saw the white flag like two laps early. Oh. So I was thinking, OK, cool, man. This will be a nice one. And then all of a sudden it wasn't there for like three more laps. So. Um, you know, uh, I, I just tried to get a good start and have fun out there and, and basically just bring it in. Brownie's riding good, so uh, if, I can, if I can get any, give him any throughout this week, I'll be happy. Hey, you work with all the Orange Brigade KTM riders. What are you learning from your experience back here again? Is there stuff you can apply when you talk to these kids? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, there's, there's a lot of differences on cutting back across the lines and different things here that I – honestly never knew watching um so I, i'm definitely learning and then it, it was really cool because about three or four of them were down there in the staging area with me kind of giving me pointers and then uh you know trying to help me select my gate and stuff so it's 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 it always helps to have another set of eyes and everything like that so uh, i think i can kind of give them give them a little bit more now um as soon as i get recovered yeah. <laughs> as far as that goes um but uh yeah like i uh i you appreciate it a lot more when you're out there on the track well let you thank some people then you can go rest yeah, KTM, Orange Brigade, for sure. Uh, all the technicians over there at, at KTM that are working their butt off all week, they, they find time uh, to uh, squeeze in my bike, so I really appreciate that. Um, Robbie especially, he's kind of going down the line with me, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, Dunlop, for sure, 100% uh, goggles. TLD, they really helped me kind of on this whole progress up to this point, and uh, it's been fun. You know, uh, Alpine Star, everybody, uh, Christy kind of, forcing me into this position i'm having fun it's it's hard work but uh it's rewarding so i i appreciate that all right there it is nathan ramsey second place in a 40 plus and after one of the best battles you'll ever see this man emerges as the last man standing in the fight for the podium barry karsten takes the bronze dude you and antonez and then john grew got in it it was one of the best battles i've seen in a long time yeah um I, I got, came out like six, but man, I went right up to second. Yeah. I'm like, whoa! Uh -huh. And uh, I'm waiting for guys to come up, and nobody was coming. And then all of a sudden, Buddy was there, and then uh, then Gruy was there, and then uh, then Buddy moved Gruy out of the way, <laughs> and I thanked him for that. And then uh, Gruy got back by both of us, and then uh, he just had a little altercation there, and uh, he did the right thing. He turned around instead of cutting the track like you know you see a hundred times, and uh, you know that's why I'm standing here. And uh, it was awesome. Yeah, is it fun to be in that thing, or is it just tiring? No, it, it's a brutal race. I mean, it may, it's, a, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, you know, we trained hard coming here. Uh, you know, I, again, I got a regular job. I got a kid that races. I'm adopting a kid. Uh, you know, I got a lot on my plate, but uh, I love racing, and, and, and I'm out here every time. Awesome. All right, thank your sponsors again, Barry. Uh, I missed a couple the first round, uh, uh, KPS suspension. Uh, my bike was working great. I just had to make sure I was strong the whole race. I didn't want to push too hard at the beginning, but... When, when I was in second, I, I, had to, I had to push a little harder than I wanted to, but, but that was good. Uh, FMF, Dunlap tires, got a ripping start, uh, cut back to the inside, and then it went on from there. Uh, Answer Gear, Suzuki, Bromley Suzuki, continue to see RM, uh, Army. Uh, just thank everybody, Decal Works, uh, Sunstar Sprockets. Uh, oh, I'm just excited, and... Uh, now I get to sleep in a little bit, and I got a motor tomorrow. Okay, good. Yeah, you'll enjoy that rest. All right, that's Barry Karsten, third place. Man, he and Antonez have spent pretty much all but maybe two or three laps of their entire week so far side by side. Then John Gruy got into it as well. Uh, Gruy then crashed late, and that's how Karsten got third. Great racing in the 40-plus. We'll see those guys again later in the week. We got a big, big-time moto on the line right now, so I'll send it back up.